This was never supposed to happen. The Florida Panthers weren't even supposed to make the playoffs. They were never supposed to beat the Bruins or the Leafs, and now they are going to the Stanley Cup Finals. When you zoom out and look at how the Panthers got here, it's been quite a miracle. So much so that some may even say it's lucky. In the regular season, the Panthers finished 17th in points. That's one point behind the Calgary Flames, who missed the playoffs entirely. And my God, does that trade ever look horrible for the Calgary Flames. Along this ride, there has been so many what-if moments. For example, what if the Blackhawks didn't beat the Pittsburgh Penguins in Game 81 to open the door for Florida to steal that last playoff spot? What if Bobrovsky doesn't rob Marshawn on a breakaway in the dying seconds of Game 5 in the first round? This Florida Panthers run has seemed like a series of coin flips and lucky breaks going their way. But what if I were to tell you that this isn't luck and this isn't all just the magic of Sergei Bobrovsky? What if I told you that this is the outcome a team gets when they focus on their process instead of getting caught up in the results? Let's go back to June 22nd, 2022. After a President Trophy season ended with a sweep to their arch rival in the Tampa Bay Lightning, the Florida Panthers wanted a change in philosophy, so they hired coach Paul Maurice. The Panthers had skill, but they didn't play a style that succeeded in the playoffs. So Maurice laid out exactly how he wanted his team to play. Why would you pull back a team offensively that has that kind of talent? But it has to be smart. And, and we will spend that the year kind of deciding, is this right? Is this the smart play? Is this the best play? Let's make the best play. Sometimes the best play is the one you don't make. I know you've heard that before, but I would, I would say that truly confident offensive players, when they're at their peak, cut plays off more often than you think. His philosophy is simple. Play a smarter game by minimizing risk. What this means is give up the puck a little bit more in certain situations and then work like an animal to get it back. The Panthers went from being last in the NHL in dump-ins to 12th in this regular season. This is the process that Maurice was trying to teach this team throughout the entire year. Minimize the risk, make the smart play, and then use their forecheck to get it back. It's a grueling way to play hockey, and it's part of the reason why it's so hard to have sustained success over an 82-game season as it requires you to constantly win tough puck battles. The results reflected this in the regular season as the Panthers just made it into the playoffs by one point. Obviously, that is not a comfortable result and it's not the best result by any means, but it is the process that Maurice and the Panthers were focused on, building the right habits to win in the playoffs. As Mike Kelly of the NHL Network points out, the major difference Maurice wanted to eliminate was forcing a possession play and making a mistake. This was a common problem for last year's Panthers, and there were certainly growing pains throughout this season, but in the playoffs, it is certainly paying off. According to Sport Logic, the Panthers rank second and third in dump-ins and dump-outs in these playoffs. The Panthers are making safer and smarter plays with the puck. They get the puck out when they're in trouble, they get the puck in deep, and then they win a battle to gain possession. This year, Florida led the league in goal differential off of turnovers in the regular season, and they're doing the exact same in the playoffs. By making smart decisions on both sides of the puck, they are minimizing crucial mistakes while forcing their opponent to do exactly that. But wait, don't you want your skilled players to make special plays when everything is on the line? Well, yes and no. As Paul Maurice said back in June, the NHL playoffs changed the game completely. The playoff game changes completely. It's a different style. The rush game disappears. The net front becomes where all the battles are. So we have to add that to our game so that when we get to that, we have experience with it. The genius here is that Paul Maurice didn't take the skill out of all of his top players. Instead, he just taught them how to use it in way smarter ways. The Panthers still have the skill to burn you on the rush, and we've seen that in these NHL playoffs. But the difference is that as a collective group, they are picking their spots in way more effective ways, and that has completely minimized their risk with the puck. If you don't have a slam dunk easy zone entry, dump it in and initiate the forecheck. If you see a breakdown and have a chance, take that chance and shove it down their throat. Before the season even started, Paul Maurice wanted to build a team that was made for the playoffs. 
by coaching his team to play smart hockey on both sides of the puck, the Panthers have done the unthinkable and have advanced to the Stanley Cup final. Whether you're Boston, Toronto, or Carolina, this was never supposed to happen. It was never supposed to go down like this, but when you face a team that's fully bought into the process of playing playoff hockey, and you run into the hottest goalie in ages, well, then anything can happen. So, what do you guys think about this Panthers team? Do you think they will win the cup no matter who they go up against? Right now, I think the belief in that room is borderline unstoppable. Vegas will likely be a fantastic match, but in my opinion, a team doesn't come this far just to fail now. Also, a quick shout out to Mike Kelly, who is a great follow on hockey Twitter. He works for the NHL Network, and on his Twitter, he shared some of the clips and stats that made this video possible. So if you're a fan, I highly recommend giving him a follow. As always, drop your thoughts, and if you want to see more NHL breakdowns, make sure you click that subscribe button.